Follow along with me as I do an online job search for engineers. For those new to my channel, my name is Nenid. I have my master's in electrical engineering. I'm also a hiring manager. And this is what I would do if I were looking for a new job online. We're gonna go through a couple different online websites and tools that you have at your disposal. All of them are free of cost, although some of them do have upcharges within their system. You're very familiar with them. I'm gonna go over in the order that I would probably start to do this search. And it's also gonna depend whether or not you're willing to relocate or not. And you can take that into account. So first of all, I would get started with with my LinkedIn. And if you haven't already, I would check out my video that I made about creating a LinkedIn profile from scratch. And this is actually it. I use an AI image there just for some fun. And uh, because I already have an existing profile, so I don't want to make one with another picture of myself. Oh, this one is close enough. So the first thing that you would do on LinkedIn is optimize your profile. And as mentioned, I've already made a video about that. And if you wanted to see my profile here quickly, yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of things that pop up, but we've already optimized this profile. So I am already getting messages from recruiters or people that want to connect, which is awesome. So really, I'm creating this sort of quote unquote inbound funnel. That's the term that it's called in marketing, right? So people are noticing me on here and they're also reaching out to me. OK, so I'm putting myself out there already after you've created your profile start reaching out, expand your network, go add all of your colleagues, all of your friends. If you've never worked in the engineering industry before and you're a new hire, then just add all of your classmates, add all of your professors and just get started. Start networking, start reaching out to people, sending some messages. And I might need to do another video about actually reaching out. But this creates a nice platform for you to receive uh, connections and contacts because these recruiters are out there. And if you are flexible enough to, to where you can move around, well, that gives you a lot more flexibility here. And also there might be some remote positions. But on LinkedIn, the first thing you want to do is click on jobs over here. OK, so I would probably not specify anything here. You don't want to narrow down your search right now. So why don't we just start looking? I'm going to minimize the messages here. You're an electrical engineer, but you should always know what industry you want to target. So me, myself, I work in the power industry, so I want to target that industry. If you don't know yet, then this will be a good time to either intern if you're still in school. And if you're not in school, the best thing to do is actually just read up on all these different industries. There are a lot of pros and cons. There are a lot of pros to the power industry, of course, some cons as well. So no place is perfect. But in our case here, let's look up the power industry. You want to type in electrical engineer and then you can put substation, for instance. OK, and let's look at the greater Orlando area and let's see what pops up. Now, not all of these are going to be relevant. You can even filter here by experience level. So let's say entry level or associate. That'd be the first two. And you can see certain ones are going to pop up. There you go. Substation engineer, Lake Mary. There are a lot of, by the way, a lot of uh, substation engineering jobs, but you don't have to. You can also do renewable. OK, electrical engineer renewable and do the same exact search. And you can also, by the way, this might be a determining factor. You might determine that, hey, you're not finding enough jobs in a specific industry industry, that also just tells you that while that industry might be something that you've always wanted to do and you're very passionate about, it might not be the best solution right now or going forward because there are just a lack of jobs that are available for it. So something to consider, do your research as you're doing this process. Here's this, the, the section here on LinkedIn. If you click on all filters, there's a section here called easy apply. If we go very generic with electrical engineer and you have this easy apply on, it basically means it's a one click here. If I click on that right there, it pops up and that's basically it. You have to upload your resume. There are five or six steps to it, but it's very fast. So what does that tell you? It means that a lot of people are going to be applying to these jobs. It's just easier to do that. So actually, sometimes you might want to do the counterintuitive thing and maybe go fish in a pond where you have less competition. And that would mean finding ones that are not easy apply. OK, I'm going to take this off. So if you find one that's not easy apply, it typically means you have to go apply at the company's own website. OK, that's an easy apply. This one here. So if I click on here, for instance, share a profile. Now, let's just continue on. As you see, I'm being redirected to the company's website. So now less people are going to do this one because it's not tied to LinkedIn. So something to keep in mind, right? You have more competition and even tells you how many ap applicants there are. So you have to be able to sell yourself with your resume to be able to, of course, make the next round. But the more chances that you give yourself, the more at bats that you give yourself with applications, obviously, the higher chance you have of scoring a job. That's as simple as that. All righty. So LinkedIn should be your first go to stop after you've optimized your profile. All right. Next, I would simply do Google. All right. And you type in 
exactly what you're looking for. Okay, so now you'll notice that the Google postings are also gonna pop up here. Huh, there's even one of the university, very nice staff engineer. Okay, and there's all these different things, uh, sponsored sites are gonna come up, but you'll be able to see which ones are in the area and you can change and you can see exactly where they are. So a lot of good companies being displayed here. So this will be something that I would do and these you know for sure are within Orlando and you can obviously change the area too. Let's say you're in Colorado, okay, Denver. You might get a little disheartened because let's say that you're not near a large city you might have to actually move and then go to live in a larger city to get some of these jobs so that's something to consider as well but google is a fantastic spot to look through because it shows you the proximity of many of them and it shows you how many of them they are really okay and there's even some uh, some more details there so like let's just look okay lockheed martin's a huge company there's even something right here apply on lockheed martin google has a lot of information about this applying inside global so that Google is, I think, overlooked because everyone thinks about LinkedIn and that is the obvious choice, but Google is certainly not to be overlooked, all right? And before you even start this process, make sure that you have your resume already spick and span and ready to go. And I've made a couple of videos about this now. So take a look at those. I'll be linking them. All righty, next one, okay? To really narrow it down once again, all right? You want to know what field you want to get into. So for instance, let's say it's power engineering jobs near, that'll be something Thing, figure out what industry you want to be in. It makes it so much easier that not only then can you tailor your resume and your search for that, but if you take the shotgun approach and just say, hey, I'm an electrical engineer, I'll work anywhere, then, you know, just take me, I need a job. And of course, I understand you need a job. That's why you're applying. Okay. But it's very obvious. I see lots of resumes that come on my desk. It's very obvious to see who is doing the shotgun approach and who's just clicking this thing and applying to your company versus somebody who's actually taking the time to tailor their resume because it shows me some extra effort. They want to be in the power space. They're, they're they're investing a little bit more up front, which says a lot about your character. So that I can't stress that enough in all of this entire process. All right. So the third spot that's very, very good is Indeed. So now Indeed is where a lot of recruiters go through to search. There are paid subscriptions for you see here, employers, job, post job, right? Right. I mean, it's a whole different part of the website here. So a lot of recruiters go on Indeed to look for candidates. Why is that a good thing? Because when you're looking for a job, you want as many people to be looking for you as possible which is why we originally talked about going with LinkedIn and making sure that you have your profile optimized because also recruiters are on there. Likewise, Indeed is the same scenario. So once again, let's do power engineer in Orlando, Florida, and then on your profile on Indeed and then also state on there that you are open to hire and then recruiters will start reaching out to you. So Indeed is a fantastic resource to not only find companies, but also to have recruiters find you. And the fourth one as a bonus is a virtual career fair and the one that i've found i've not used it before but i believe it's called handshake yep there it is i've looked it up before okay so here handshake has a lot of a, a lot of good information on on the blog here but also you can click on students this is especially powerful if you are in school because i do believe you need a dot edu uh, account and these are virtual career fairs okay let's type in electrical engineer and they have a website by the way for the european market as well uh, these videos i'm making are typically for the american market but many things can be taken into account many things can be transferred over search electrical engineering jobs on handshake there we are and of course you see students and alumni usa so you need a school to sign in but there's also a uk and european site so handshake has uh the added benefit of of the employers knowing that you are indeed a student and a new grad and you don't have experience because i know that one of the biggest hurdles that you have is to get that very first engineering job. So as a summary, these are my four resources that I would use if I were applying. And that would be LinkedIn, that would be Google, and that would be Indeed. And then finally, Handshake as a bonus. Figure out what works best for you. And if you're constantly on the hunt, eventually something will land, but keep improving your process. So maybe it's your resume that needs help. Okay, improve that. Or maybe you need to figure out how to communicate a little better when you get on the phone with somebody. Okay, work on that. And then finally, it's your presentation and how you are in the interview as well that matters. Obviously, your knowledge that's there from school. But sometimes, as we all know, it's hard to get that knowledge out when you're kind of under the gun, if you will, when there's a high stress situation. So those are all things that can be improved upon at every step of this process. Anyways, hope this video helped. I don't think it was too long, but I figured that it'd be quite insightful. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And as always, subscribe and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much.